Welcome to my channel, Chaz's Lifestyle. In today's episode, it's all about meal prepping and juicing for a healthier lifestyle, balancing flavor and health all at the same time. So stay tuned. Ingredient checklist, I have bell peppers and onions, lemon and cilantro, asparagus, as well as salmon fillets, some broccoli, and for my smoothie bags, I have blueberries, strawberries, and bananas. First up, meal preps. I'm going to start off by seasoning the salmon fillets with a fresh seasoning blends, including Kinder's Fire Grilled Garlic, onion powder, smoked paprika, last but not least, salt and pepper to taste. I baste the salmon with avocado oil to help seal in that seasoning before and after being seasoned. I love how versatile cooking salmon can be. I like to sear, grill, smoke, bake, and even air fry my salmon. It's so many ways to keep it fun in the kitchen. This time, I am searing the salmon on each side. I personally love a good crust on the edges of the salmon. Increasing the flavor, I sear the salmon for about four to six minutes each side or until cooked but tender on the inside. I'm using a Japanese barbecue sauce that I purchased from Walmart. The oven is preheated to 410 degrees Fahrenheit for the roasted vegetable trays I'll be making. These vegetable trays are pretty simple, easy, and straight to the point. So I combine asparagus, bell peppers, and red onions together, a little drizzle of avocado oil, and a sprinkle of that fresh AP seasoning blend. Next, I repeated similar steps for the broccoli florets. Baste the broccoli with avocado oil, AP seasoning blend. And cover the asparagus mixed and roasted each pan at the same time for about 10 to 12 minutes or until fork tender. One of my go-tos lately have been cauliflower rice. It can be very flavorful when adding your own twist to it. Once my rice is steamed and tender to my liking, I went in with onion powder, garlic, salt, and pepper to taste. Then I incorporated cilantro, lime juice, and scallions. Mixed very well and I sat it to the side. Super simple, affordable, straight to the point meal preps. I don't eat much meat nowadays, so I love replacing what I choose to for a healthier alternative like broccoli. It's time to prep. Like I said before, I love adding different sauces to my meal preps, which boosts the flavor up tremendously. I added teriyaki sauce on my broccoli as I ate it. Oh my gosh, so good. Stay tuned, next up is my favorite. It's time to whip out the snacks and smoothie bags. I try to use fresh ingredients for everything, so I'm aware of what I put into my body. I'm starting off by prepping my fruit for the fruit smoothie bags. So I love a good smoothie bag. Smoothie bags are such a great idea and a way to incorporate more vegetables and fruit into your daily diet. I've been craving strawberry banana flavors so much lately, so I decided to go with strawberries, bananas, and blueberries for the smoothie bags. I made extra bags, usually someone in the house wants what I have, so <laughs> I've come prepared. <laughs> Using the small snack Ziploc bags comes in handy. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle means maintaining balance, so portion control is necessary on my wellness journey. With that being said, these snack Ziploc bags are the perfect size. Once I finish the smoothie bags, I moved on to prep the rest of my goodies. During the summer, I've been hooked on pickle de gallo, spicy guac, and salt-free chips to pair it with. So I'm using the Kilner mini mason jars. So I have these salt-free corn chips, but I found an even better brand. Check out my next meal prep video for the details. Just know they're plant-based and super yummy. I bought these mini guac packs from Costco's, such a lifesaver. I also bought dried kiwis from Costco's, healthier alternative when you're craving something sweet. One bag actually lasts me two days. I don't care for sweets that much anymore. Juicing time, my best friend, my ace Boon Coon, the winner of the show, the pineapple detox juice. You all should know by now, I'm going to always include my girl into these meal prep videos. <laughs> she works now. You'll be running to the restroom, but she works. 
All of the ingredients will be listed in the description box. I'm working on my blog so everyone has easier access to printable copies. I saved the actual pineapple peel to make pineapple ginger detox tea. I use pineapple, golden kiwi, ginger, and four cups of water to dilute it. I don't believe everyone understands how beneficial pineapple and ginger are for us in our wellness. Pineapple and ginger helps decrease inflammation in the gut and quickly breaks down protein, which is good for smooth digestion and suppresses the appetite, being that every ingredient is full of water. I highly recommend incorporating these two gems into your wellness journey. So I usually drink this on an empty stomach before lunch and or before dinner. Sometimes I break it up before and after a meal like lunch. I cannot wait to show y'all this next juice. I have been dying to try it. Oh my gosh, it was so refreshing and vibrant. Now let's work on the summer melon juice. Yes, I made the name up. I really have turned into a juice girl. I'm loving it over here. When I saw these melons in Costco, y'all, I knew off the rip I had to juice it. I also incorporated mango into this recipe. It was so bomb. I'm a juicy juice lover, so I love a good tea, slushy, or cocktail. Hand it over, okay? So I've started making my own juice. So when I'm craving like lemonade from Chick-fil-A or that sweet tea from McDonald's, I just grab me some juice, <laughs> mint, and I'll throw me some ice in there and yeah, I'm good to go. So I encourage everyone to try and juice and just try it out. You never know, you might like it if you haven't tried it before. You might just have fun. Also making it as a family can be fun as well. Creating some things out of a few ingredients can be very exciting for kids. So, you know, just seeing what you can create, the flavors, just have fun with it. So this week I actually want to switch it up a bit and try a new few things out. So tune into my next meal prep video for the upcoming details. Lastly, I made the orange ginger wellness shots. My main ingredients are oranges and ginger. Depending on what ingredients I may have or gotten that weekend, I usually add turmeric, lemon juice, and mango. This time, I kept it simple. As long as I'm including ginger, I'm good. I like to chug this juice bright and early in the morning on an empty stomach. Well, everyone, thank you all for tuning into another episode with Chaz's Lifestyle. I will see you all in the next video.